My name is Asma Mohamed Ali. I am from Somalia. I came to UK in 1992. The reason why I came to UK was because I fled from civil war. I was 11 years old. We faced domestic violence, sexual abuse, and many other abuses. I am a proud member of the Somali Bravanese Welfare Association. Our community centre is based in North London. I have been working for this community for more than 20 years. The local council found us a place in Muswell Hill. The centre was a second home for the whole community. Children would benefit from school support, physical activities. The adults would benefit and advise, and their children being supported within the centre. I had a child who was uh, severely disabled. The community provided support and I think without the centre I could not have achieved what I have achieved like going to university and getting a degree. The aerial view of what used to be the Somalia Islamic Bravanese Welfare Centre totally destroyed in a fire which is strongly believed to have been racially motivated. I met Asma at Ramadan when the Bravanese community had the use of our synagogue following the arson of their community centre. The response is something that I never thought we would get. Within the same day, the whole neighbourhood united together. In times of difficulties, it's even more important that you refuse to give in to the forces that want to split communities and that instead you do what Asma is doing, is building bridges. Our local councils, they have offered us to use Barnet homes. I know when you hear Barnet homes, you'll be thinking, yes, the tall building, yes, that's right. But thanks to them, it's better than having nothing. It's helped me very much because of the high quality of teaching. So it made me one of the best in the class. Asma, she helps us very much. She's very inspiring and she's like to us a second parent. She's always the one that we always turn to to be presenter and we always ask him opinions. We don't, we don't usually make decisions without you know, going through her. And some of the things I've achieved, I wouldn't have achieved if I didn't come here. Most of the children who came to this country, they never been to school. They spend time in the refugee camps. They never had a school setting. Now Asma was a role model for them to show that I went to this school, I learned and I can support you and you can go through these problems. Now they went back to Bandit Hospital as a doctors and working in the hospitals. This is shows that how the community, if they get a chance, they can go back again and give it back to the society. There are women within the Somali Bravanese community who are doctors, who are biochemists, molecular biologists. That's really wonderful. They set great role models for their younger people. Asma is warm, she's inspirational, and I'm proud to call her a friend. The person who burned the centre thought they would win. But hey, what happened? They burned the centre, but in fact, they reunited all the local community. This is what the community is about, bringing us all together despite what faith you are and what background you came from. You can lose a building, you can lose money, but having the right people who would stand with you shoulder to shoulder, you feel like you're not alone. When I'm older, I, I, just, I just want to read books in the libraries, even I just want to be a toddler and I love my mum so much.